Buddha, said to Purna, Although you have cast off doubts, you still have not ended residual delusions. I will now question you about a mundane event. Did you hear about Yainadatta from Shravasti, who on impulse, one morning, held a mirror to his face and fell in love with the head in the mirror? He gazed at the eyes and eyebrows, but got angry because he could not see his own face. He decided he must be a mountain or river, and he lost control and ran madly about. What do you think? Why did this person set out on a mad cause for no reason? Purna said, That person was insane. There is no other reason. The Buddha said, What reason can you give for saying that the wonderful, enlightened, bright perfection, the fundamentally perfect bright wonder, is false? If there is a reason, then how do you define false? All of your own false thinking becomes, in turn, the cause for more. From confusion, you accumulate confusion through eon after eon. Although the Buddha is aware of it, he cannot counteract it. From such confused causes, the cause of confusion perpetuates itself. When one realizes that confusion has no cause, the falseness becomes baseless. Since it never arose, why would you hope for its end? One who obtains Bodhi is like a person who awakens to tell of the events in a dream. Since his mind will remain awake and clear, why would he want to hold on to the things in a dream? This is especially true for things that lack a cause and are basically non-existent, such as Yainadatta's situation that day in the city. Was there any reason why he became fearful for his head and went running about? If his madness had suddenly ceased, he still wouldn't get his head back from someplace else outside. And so before his madness ceased, how could his head have been lost? Purna, falseness is the same way. How can it exist? You only need to follow discriminations about the three kinds of continuity of the world, beings and karmic retributions. By cutting off those three conditions, the causes will not arise. And then the madness, like Yainadatas, will cease by itself. Once it ceases, Bodhi appears. The supreme, pure, bright mind originally pervades the Dharma realm. It is not something obtained from anyone else. Why then, toil at cultivation, making yourself bone tired, trying to gain certification? Consider a person who has a wish-fulfilling pearl sewn into his clothing, but does not know it. Poverty-stricken and ragged, he roams around, begging for food, and always on the move. Although he is indeed destitute, the pearl is never lost. Suddenly a wise person points out the pearl. Then all his wishes are fulfilled. He obtains great wealth, and he realizes that the pearl did not come from somewhere outside. You see in life, in your life. What are you looking for so desperately? You already have a head on your shoulders. You already have this life. And you have inside you the power to change your life to such degree that can make all of your dreams come true. So don't be like Yaina Data, looking for something outside of yourself, which you already have inside of you. This is Dare to Do Motivation, Buddha Stories. Thank you so much for watching and stay blessed.